the trailer. I mean, it looks cool. But did that say bungee? What is this? Maybe a new Destiny expansion? This doesn't look like Destiny. A Marathon reboot? Man, I wanna play something from Legend. Can I still play Destiny 1? Let's see. Still the best, totally worth it, still playable. That's it. I'm I'm playing Destiny. I've waited too long to try it. What's up? and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is George, and this is my channel, where I like to share my gaming adventures with you guys. Today, I'm going to take a look at something that I started thinking about after that marathon trailer dropped. I got really hyped for it for some reason. I'm not sure why, but maybe it's because I'm a huge Halo fan. Now, Bungie didn't make the beautiful, controversial train wreck that is Halo Infinite. But they did start the series, and I fell in love with Halo with the first game. I got it a little over a year after launch, and I played the majority of my first playthrough at a relative's house over the summer. And they had a kind of porch sunroom that we had dragged the TV out onto, and one of my strongest Halo memories is playing 343 Guilty Spark for the first time late at night with the sounds of the woods all around me. After leaving Halo, Bungie made a new game, Destiny. Now, I didn't play it at the time or in the years since. When it came out, I had just moved out of state from where I grew up and I was doing a lot of outdoor recreation and it just wasn't really on my radar. Then Destiny 2 came out and I didn't play that because I heard a lot of stuff about the Destiny games being kind of a grind and that you really needed a group to kind of enjoy the games. After watching that teaser for Marathon, I decided to see if I made the right choice skipping Destiny. And that weekend, I went to a garage sale and I found this. A copy of Destiny for PS4 for 50 cents. I thought, what can I lose? Now, it is used, so I'm not sure if it's going to include the DLC, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. For now, I'll put up some gameplay of me playing for the first time, and then I'll come back and we can talk about it. To manage updates, accepting license agreements. Choose your class. Titan. Hunter. Warlock. We'll go with the Hunter. Here, I found a rifle. Grab it. I hope you know how to use that thing.
hide. So, I've been playing Destiny 1 for a little over two weeks now, and I feel like this is a good spot to wrap up the video. One thing I kind of knew going in was that I was starting a first-person shooter MMORPG. I thought I'll rank up some, maybe get some cool armor. I was not prepared for the intricate skill system and the weapon and armor perks and the large variety of enemies and the elemental weaknesses and resistances. I was floored by how complex the game really was. Before we get any further, let me tell you how far I've progressed. I just started the Mars missions. I chose a hunter class and I'm level 15 and my light level is 76. I played the two teaser missions for the first expansions, The Dark Below and House of Wolves. This copy already had the download card used, so I don't have those expansions. On top of that, I also don't have PS Plus, so I couldn't play any of the PvP or the strikes that require matchmaking. I know PvP is a big deal for most people, but I'm already playing three shooters, Halo Infinite, Splatoon 3, and Overwatch 2, and I don't think I need to add a fourth. For now, I'm just going to stick to the PvE. I really love first person shooters and RPGs, so to have almost missed out on this amazing combination of the two was a huge fumble on my part. Let's talk about the good, followed by the bad, of playing Destiny so long after release. For the most part, I'm having a great time with the game. The PS4 version runs really well on my PS5, and it looks super sharp, the voice acting is good, and I really like the story so far. I also like the flexibility the RPG elements give you when building your character to fit your playstyle. I like to have my encounters kind of play out mid-range, so I normally choose a pulse rifle primary, then I'll have a sniper rifle as my secondary to kind of pick off the high value targets before I fully engage. And then for my heavy, I normally have a machine gun for the kind of tankier enemies that can be closer to the end of the waves. I enjoy coming back to the two hubs that I've unlocked so far and getting my next quest, kind of decrypting any of the loot that I found on the last mission. It's kind of like coming into a town in a classic RPG like Final Fantasy, but it's not all great. And speaking of the hubs, there were a couple times where I was just walking back and forth between NPCs to progress the story. And while it wasn't too bad, I could see it getting annoying after a while. And I kind of wish there was a way to just select the NPC you wanted to be at. Kind of like in Splatoon 3, where you can walk around the city and go into each of the stores, but you can also just pull up the menu and choose the one you want to go to. The second issue that I had was mostly my fault for playing a nine-year-old online game that already got a sequel. Connection errors. Sometimes I just turn on the game and start playing and have no issues. Other times I spent 15 minutes just trying to load into the tower 
to see what my next quest was. I'm guessing the servers don't really get regular maintenance, and the support page for Destiny 1 is kind of buried on Bungie.net. You have to enter the Destiny 2 section, then go to the community section, and then go to the support section and choose Destiny 1. It's not surprising, but it is a little disappointing. And that about wraps up the opinions of someone who is running incredibly late on an amazing game. And I kind of regret not playing it sooner. But now I'll ask you, did you play Destiny when it launched? Or maybe when the expansions started coming out? Or maybe you haven't touched it to this day. Did I inspire you to come back or play it for the first time? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike. But for now, I'll see you in the next one, Guardian.